The White House did it again. They wait until late Friday, about 6 p.m., to dump more slender documents on Congress. Now, those documents are ones that a House committee had been demanding. Why did the White House wait until late Friday at 6 p.m. to do it? You know why. But that isn't even the big slender news tonight. There is new information that suggests Secretary of Energy Chu may be deeper in this scandal than the White House has been saying. Congressman Cliff Stearns of the House Energy and Commerce Committee joins us. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Fred. All right. Um, new, new information just coming out, not in the document dump tonight, because that has, people haven't had a chance to sift through that, but pro lodges Who are they, and how do they play into the slender sc scandal? Well, first of all, they're part of the 1705 program, loan guarantee, the Department of Energy gave out for Solyndra. Uh, they're headquartered in San Francisco. They're a huge company. Uh, they operate in 22 countries, and they got $1.4 billion from the Department of Energy to develop, sol put solar panels on the roofs of their commercial buildings. Right. When did they get that loan in relation to Solyndra going belly up? Two months before Solyndra went belly up. All right, and so they got a loan, as I get this right, they got a loan from the federal government, taxpayers. Department of Energy to buy those panels that Solyndra was manufacturing? Well, that wasn't ostensibly the reason. They were supposed to go out in the marketplace and buy these solar panels to put on their commercial buildings, their flat roofs across the United States. But it turns out some of the emails we got shows that there was some indication that Secretary Chu was an intermediary with the White House saying that possibly uh, this company could buy the solar panels from Solyndra before it went bankrupt. Well, why in the world would that company want to buy them from, from Solyndra? From what we learned is that Solyndra was making them at a price that exceeded the cost you could buy them from China. So what in the world would be the incentive for pro Lodges to buy them from Solyndra? We did a letter to the White House with just that very question, asking what was the deal? Why would pro Lodges buy from Solyndra at a higher price when they could buy it in the open market for cheaper? And second of all, did Solyndra actually provide to uh, Provologist uh, solar panels, how many and what effect uh, was a contract? Why were we giving federal stimulus money and a loan to Prologis? I went on the internet and this is a company that has $43.3 billion in assets. They say they're the leading owner, operator, and developer of industrial real estate in the Americas, Europe, and Asia, and they operate apparently 600 million square feet. Why do they need our money? They don't. And that's, that's really what is the basis of, I think, the investigation of the O&I committee that I chair, is we see favoritism Greta, throughout the stimulus package. In fact, you know, today is one year ago we started the Solyndra investigation, and three years to this date, this very date, the 17th of February, uh, was a $750 billion stimulus package. So, in effect, what we see throughout all these stimulus packages is favoritism towards their campaign contributors. All right. How does, uh, how does a loan of $1.4 billion, and we're so used to these numbers, a billion, yeah, we've right. sort of gotten desensitized to it, but a billion's a lot of money, is how did $1.4 billion to this very successful $43.3 billion Over assets the New York company? Stock Exchange, too, how, uh, how many jobs did that generate? Where's the stimulus? Yeah, I, I, I can't imagine they generate any job. Just like, you know, you saw that Duke Energy got $230 million and they generated 196 jobs. And who's the, and who's the CEO of, of Duke Energy? Jim Rogers is the CEO. He's now co-chair of the National Democrat Convention. So that would indicate, you know, some kind of, I would think, some favoritism. But the larger question is, how much has the White House been involved in manipulating and making sure these loans work out as well, they promote these loans across the well, they're program? They're companies. Why are we loaning money to an expensive company? That's the first thing. Could, could, now, they could go to the bank themselves. Yeah, I mean, are they, they it looks like they could sell fund for that. Yeah. Two is that why, what jobs did it possibly create? Three is why would they want to buy Solyndra panels if they're more expensive than they get in China? And four, it looks like uh, since Solyndra couldn't sell the panels themselves, that we go out and loan money to somebody else and say use that money to buy from Solyndra because they're going belly up. That's what it looks like. It looks like an example. It looks funny to me. Yeah, like you're giving me money to go to buy something from somebody you also gave money to, too. So it's really a circle of just circulating taxpayers' money at taxpayers' expense. Right. Now, I realize you get these documents 6 p.m. on Friday night, these uh, cylinder documents. I assume you're going to get documents on Prologis so we can figure out who, the, who runs it, whether there are any political connections, and whether there's any legitimate uh, reason to have this loan, and even whether any jobs are developed. I figure you're going to go after that, right? We're going to go after that and try and look at the contract that was developed between Prologis and Solyndra and actually to see if any products were bought and what was the price of those products. And, and, the stim and let's not forget the whole goal to stimulate the, the economy. Right. Anyway, Congressman, thank you, sir. All right, Greta, thank you.